I think one common goal for modern artists these days is to have something they've created published into a game. And for years, I was one of those artists. My goal for a very long time was to get one of my skin concepts added into the game Smite. I took this very seriously. For years, I was deep in the Smite community. I would spend hours studying the artist's process images on how they created the splash pictures for the game or learning how they came up with the concepts trying to understand what went through the artist's mind when creating the work. I started making concepts around 2015, 2016. My first concept was a community skin contest entry for a Wheelix. Overall, the concept was not very good and I understand completely why it didn't get added into the game. The concept didn't have very much creativity to it and it doesn't provide much of a change from the original character's design. So it's not, it's just not very good. However, this hunger to get a skin into the game only grew and grew, so I was officially on the grind. My second concept was a live Izanami. Part of Izanami's lore is that she's dead, so I thought, hmm, what if I created a concept of her being alive with some really nice, elegant Japanese clothing and make her look really cool? The high-res devs loved it, however, they provided feedback that the design wouldn't work with her rigging bones. So I redid the design a few years later with an updated design that would better work with her bones. After this, I started making more concepts. With a better understanding of how the rigging works, I attempted to keep my concepts more in line with what would actually be possible to add into the game. QQ Daji was my next design, a candy Harajuku girl inspired skin that featured fluffy tails, bright colored clothes, and cute space buns. I even drew up other options that the design could have, like band-aids, a single bun, and fox ears. The community loved this concept on Reddit. We all know Reddit's approval is the most important, and the concept was favored within the community. But still nothing. So on to the next concept, Cambian Soul. She was a mix of a succubus and some other thing that I can't remember the lore of, but I really liked this concept and someone was cool enough to actually cosplay as this concept and that made my day. It was liked within the community, but people did make the point that it's mostly a recolor, which I kind of get. But I was not deterred. My goal to get a skin in this godforsaken game shall not be in vain. Dream Demon Daji has entered the chat, my most well-known skin concept, and the one that a lot of people actually wanted in the game, but due to copyright, it probably can't, but I don't really think it's that close to Freddy Krueger in my opinion. I don't know, I just think a striped sweater is pretty generic in my opinion, but oh, whatever. Anyways, I submitted this skin for a Halloween skin contest for Smite. This concept was overall loved by the community on Reddit and Twitter. People were raving over this concept. However, to the surprise of the community and to my detriment, it did not make the voting round to be added into the game. I was heartbroken, but the grind continued. Merwa was my next concept, which ended up technically being added two months after I posted the speed paint on YouTube. Someone from hi -res, please explain, cause a lot of people were asking if this was my concept and uh, I would like some answers too, <laughs> please. <laughs> Mahou Shoujo Jingwei, Fortune Teller Nuwa, Dragon Queen Aphrodite, Gamer Girl Nuwa, and finally, a troll skin that I made, the ugliest creation that I've ever created, Cthulhu. Cthulhu time! The one that got into the game. And I have no idea why. I remember it like it was yesterday. A member of hi -res contacted me via Reddit and asked me if I would want that stain of a skin to be put into the game. That was it. Years of grinding was over. I had finally gotten the opportunity I was trying so hard for. A skin in Smite. hi -res offered me a sum of money for the idea of Cthulhu. They told me that they would be making changes to the skin. I didn't know what kind of changes, but my concept wasn't very good. It was essentially a troll concept after all. Out of all of my concepts, this was the one to be added. It wasn't exactly how I wanted the moment to be, but it was still my moment. I accepted the offer and about three months later, the skin was added. Reddit hated the skin to be honest, but I was really expecting that. However, I was getting congratulated by the community on my feat of finally getting something added into the game. The final result of the skin is nothing like my concept. It's far better than my original concept, of course. They put him in more of a clear cut outfit instead of whatever the hell I put him in. And the theme was that he was at a tea party. Anyways, I got paid and I got a bunch of codes to give to friends and family to get the skin for free, which was cool. 
So lesson of this video, don't give up. You might get noticed someday by your shittiest concept.